Color ramp, map range, clamp node, how are they the same? How are they different? Let's find out. Uh, Go, uh, click the link in the description to uh, grab the project files from Gumroad or copy my node setup. Make sure you have Node Wrangler enabled and uh, add a plane, delete the cube, add a plane, uh, press seven to view it from above. Uh, this is in material preview and uh, this is obviously the shader editor for the material that is on the plane. Um, so real quick, you're probably familiar with color ramp, but let's go over it just in case. Uh, let's first say that map range color ramp uh, are exactly the same at the default with our values being 0 through 1. I should say that this here is black is 0, white is 1, white would actually be over here, this is 0.9, but uh, it works just fine for the demonstration. So if I move this up, Control shift t to grab it, if I move this up it moves our input range. So likewise I can use my map range to move that up. Uh, if we set these to exactly the same, 0.2, uh, they will look exactly the same. We could do the same uh, with the two and the, the top value here. Um, I'd recommend doing that, see how it works. Um, to, if we were to change the colors of these, uh, let's go to RGB, click drag down, 0.2, uh, change that to a nice gray. Uh, what that does is that changes our output colors, our output range. Um, so likewise, we can change this to point 0.2 if I can learn how to type. Third time is the charm. Uh, click that, it's exactly the same. So right now I've showed you they're exactly the same. So when would you choose one over the other? One case is color. I can change my output colors to something other than gray, say red. Uh, that's not easy to do with the map range. You'd need three of them and to separate RGB. I'm sure there would be good uses for that. Um, I haven't come across them too much. Um, map range, uh, you can actually use values that are outside of the range zero to one. So say we multiply everything by two and let's set these all back to their originals. With our color ramp, uh, we can't handle anything outside of that range. So it just clamps them. Let's set that back to black. Uh, just everything above one, it just displays as one. Whereas if you can see it on the YouTube compression, when we move our input up to two and our output up to two, we can actually see that. If we wanted to then limit it to the range, uh, zero to one, uh, we could set that output to one and that does that. So that's the use of the map range that the color ramp uh, cannot do in a straightforward way. The map range can also easily be controlled numerically. So if you're like in a no group or things like that, it's a lot easier to control. Uh, clamp is a specific uh, case of the map range where the from min, where the from min and to min are the same combined as min and the from max and the to max are the same combined as max. So if I set these at zero to two to match, they are the same. So if you know that you're from and to min and you're from and max, you're from and to max are always going to match. You could use the clamp node, save a little space um, if you want. So a uh, quick review, color ramp can deal with colors map range can deal with things outside of the range zero to one and can also be more easily numerically controlled. Uh, I highly recommend putting a color ramp and a map range node next to each other and messing with them. Uh, the way that I learn best is by doing it hands-on and if that works for you I would recommend doing it the same. Uh, thank you for watching and remember to make good choices.